Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Hey, I was supposed to be the first one in there. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Oh, sure. Everyone go ahead of me while I'm doing my intro. You told me to be the first one. I'm going to see it first, Esbern. Fascinating. Original Akaviri bar reliefs. Almost entirely intact. you say so. Amazing. You can see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Alduin's wall, right? God, he'd Esbern? be good as an art history professor. Uh, yes, I wouldn't mind I taking a course under Esbern. Later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. There it is. You're gonna light those torches? Or sconce or braziers. Huh. That doesn't cast as much light as I would have figured. Shows bones. Here it is. Aldrin's wall, so well preserved. Huh? I've never seen a final example of early second era Kaviri sculpture of relief. Esbern, we need information, not a lecture on art history. Yes, yes. Let's see what we have. So he's going to go ahead and talk about events in the Elder Scrolls history. Look, here is Alduin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against their dragon overlords, the legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. So we're looking for a shout, then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? The Greybeards might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. What do you think it's the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? The Greybeards may have a point. Power is dangerous. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. I better go see what Arn Arngear knows about this shout. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. That is the good stuff. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they kneel, their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Alduin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. 
So the other stuff in this panel correlates to other Elder Scrolls games. So not this lady. She's part of the middle. But this is the Numidian, or Anumidium, depending on who you ask. That's referencing Elder Scrolls 2 because it gets activated and causes the dragon break. Then here you can see this is a billowing, it's, it's hard to tell, but there's like a mountain kind of carved here and it's like billowing smoke. That's Red Mountain. That's referencing Elder Scrolls 3. I guess Arena isn't really referenced, but nothing really important happened there. No, well, no, stuff important stuff. It doesn't matter. And then this is the Oblivion symbol and it references Elder Scrolls 4, the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. It's the Oblivion Gates and everything. Did you need something? No, I guess he didn't tell you about That's it. That's all. Because hmm? there's a... Hold on. What's the... There's an actual... Uh, it's like when walk brass... It's... Alduin's wall... I think it's the song? It might be the song that sings when you turn on... Uh... No. Oh. Uh. Walking brass. I know that is part of it. It's like they're basically explaining how the end of the world happens. I'm th I thought they talked about it though here. Oh wait, you know what? He might talk about it later. Uh. No. It's when the brass tower walks. This is hold on, this is the line. Let me try searching for this. Oh, stop showing me a Metroid Dread trailer. Search. Uh Oh, it's from the Book of the Dragonborn, that's what it is. Okay, when Misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world. That's or Elder Scrolls Arena. Wait, isn't this it? The Book of the Dragonborn? That's like the book you pick up you can pick up at the beginning of the game. Hold on, it's it's Let me, let me find the the unofficial Skyrim or Elder Scrolls page, because they're usually pretty good. There we go. Uh here we go. When Mistral takes place the eight corners of the world, so that's Elder Scrolls Arena. That's talking that's referring to how you travel all around the world in that one. When the brass tower walks and time is reshaped. When the thrice the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles, that's Red Mountain. When the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls. That's that one. When the snow tower lies sundered, kingless, and bleeding. And then this little relief of people fighting is referencing the civil war. This, I guess there really isn't any representation for Arena on this mural, is there? The world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragon guard. So the wheel just kind of vaguely describes fate. Like, that's the wheel. Can't I leave from, like, up here or something? The wheel. The wheel's a whole confusing concept because it's... It refers to the entirety of existence, and if you look at the wheel on its side, it's the tower, and it's a whole thing. It's a good read. It just can be difficult to wrap your head around it. Oh, everyone's least favorite, Daedric Prince. Captain Back muscles himself. Hey, teach me how to make a dragon fall.
Sky, guard you. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. Their bomb. arrogance? They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Uh, the blades just want to defeat Alduin, don't you? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. So you won't help me? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So you can teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. What's so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. I'll be fine. I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. If the shout is lost, how can, do, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Pathomax, Alduin? the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. Why haven't I met Parthamax He lives yet? in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Okay, now this is Old Man Walking Simulator again. Ugh, it's so bad. Oh, guess we're going outside. Ow. Oh, isn't this like break storms or something? Like, or clear skies?
The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Do I need to go get some dragon souls to be able to do this? I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Okay. You know what, I should favorite this, shouldn't I? Oh, I have two souls, I didn't even realize. Uh, I'll save them for later. I should also quick save just in case. Look! Oh, the recharge is very, very fast. Look! Oh, even this hurts. This like mist. Oh, there's a goat. It's a dead goat. I guess it was in the mist and died. That is really it obscures your view. Look, is that a dragon skeleton? It is. Huh. I hope I get a fast travel point at the top of this mountain. I think you do, but I still No, I guess we're clear up here. How do you live up here, Mr. Troll? Look, Oh, I thought that was the sound of me being hurt, not the sound of a... a wraith. Ah. Keep climbing. Keep on climbing. Oh, this goat's alive. Look, I can't tell if there's painful mist here, so I'm just going to do that anyway. We're almost there. The top of the world. I think isn't... Isn't the throat of the world the highest point in Tamriel? I forget. I also wonder if they're going to have any kind of replacement ability Look, in the next Elder Scrolls, like comparable to. Oh, why am I being hurt so much? Comparable to uh, shouts. Oh, I do get a fast travel point. Nice. Of the world. 
Alright, let me put back slow time. Drem your look. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Fun fact, Parthenax, voiced by Charles Martinet, known for his famous role as Mario from the Super Mario series. Uh, I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I came... I need to learn the Dragon Ren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. Why do you intrude here if not for Tinvak? Okay, I guess I'm learning this word. A gift, Dovahkiin. Yol. Understand fire as the Dove do. Oh, thank you. Oh, right, Yol. Because there's a dragon named Yol Nakrin in a now, online fire. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Okay. I'm going to breathe fire at you. <laughs> that wasn't very impressive. Ah, uh, yes. Hold on. Osedo Vlostmul, the dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Weird. Look at your face, your big dragony face. No, wait, come back. I wanted to talk. Oh, I guess you wanted to be. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Source, Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? Uh, can you teach me the Dragon Wrench out? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know I came for Dragonrend? Alduin Komet Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? I like this world. I don't want it to end. Prusa, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. 
Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa? Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? The next world will have to take care of itself. Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those are words. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? Uh... I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the dragon wrench out, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. Fair enough. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Are you saying the ancient Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. An Elder Scroll? What's that? Hmm. How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwalan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kele, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suryek. That's, you know, I never really read up on the Elder Scrolls themselves. I've kind of just dismissed them as like a meta, like metaphysical plot device. How does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound,
with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Huh. I have the Elder... Well... Sum Ark Mora. Well, I have the Elder Scroll, but we'll complete that. We'll we'll complete. We'll chat him up in the next episode. And oh, okay, just read the scroll here. We'll do it in the next episode. So thanks for joining me. Come back. I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.